guys, it's Emily, and today I'm here to bring you the Do I Have That Book Tag. This tag was created by Tabby of Keeping Tabs, and I was tagged in it by Joe, a retired book nerd, and I'll leave both of those ladies linked down there. Um, when Tabby created this, she made it into like a competition where she was trying to get the books as fast as possible, but Joe did it where she just already had the books to hold up, and that's how I'm going to do it too, because it's just easier, and also some of my books are still over at my parents' house, so I got all the books ready right here, so let's just get into it. It. The first question is, do you have a book with deckled edges? And I have a couple, but for this question, I picked Reflections on the Sobs by C.S. Lewis. And you can see it's got the deckled edges and it's got the French blacks as well. So this is a very fancy book. The second question is, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? And for this one, I picked Mrs. Adams in Winter by Michael O'Brien. And you can see down here is a painting, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's some people right here uh, in the carriage as well. So there's a bunch of people on the front of this cover. Number three is, do you have a book that's based on another fictional story? And for this one, I picked Darcy's Passion which, as you might guess, is a retelling from of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen from Darcy's point of view. And this is one of the ones that I got from my parents' house. I loved this book as a teenager, and I reread it multiple times. And this actually goes past Pride and Prejudice and shows Darcy and Elizabeth's wedding, and it also shows the birth of their first child. So it's a really good retelling that I really, I really liked. Next question is, do you have a book that is exactly, uh, whose title is exactly 10 letters long? And for this one, I wasn't sure if it had to be like one word that was 10 letters, but I chose to think that the whole title could be 10 letters. So for this, I picked The Tempest by William Shakespeare. And this is one of those, um, like, it's got the old English and then it's got the modern day English. And I'm planning to reread it because I haven't read it in a long time so looking forward to rereading this one the next question is do you have a book that's whose title starts and ends with the same letter for this one i picked the hobbit by J.R.R. tolkien and i don't know if it's this this is considered a cheat or not but i feel like the the in the hobbit is like an important part of the title because you wouldn't just say i'm reading hobbit by J.R.R. tolkien you'd say the hobbit so anyway it starts with a t and it ends with a t and i think it counts and this is my dad's like really cool 1970s edition that he gave to me and i love it number six is do you have a book that's a mass market paperback and for this one i picked song of the lark by willa cather which i just bought earlier this year to do my willa cather reading um, i'm reading all of her books throughout this year question number seven is do you have a book that's written by an author that's using a pen name and for this one i picked middle march by george Eliot, and i bought this gorgeous uh Penguin Deluxe Edition for Jennifer from Insert Literary Puns here. Um, read along of Middle March a few years ago and I really enjoyed it. Number eight is, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? And for this one, I picked The Gift of Asher Webb by Shyam Poltok, which is the sequel to My Name is Asher Webb. And I read both of, I reread both of these books earlier in the year. The next question is, do you have a book with two maps in it? And for this one, I picked Eleanor of Aquitaine by Alison Weir. It's got a map of Europe, and then it's got a map of England. Let me see if I can find it. So this is the map, or I should, wait, I should say uh, the United Kingdom, or Britain, Great Britain. And it's also got this map of Europe as well. Question number 10 is, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? And for this one, I picked Dirt Gently's Holistic Detective Agency by David by Douglas Adams. And I've actually watched this show, and it's really good. And watching the show made me want to pick up the book, but I haven't read the book yet. But I got this cool retro copy at the library book sale. So I'm looking forward to this one. Question number 11 is, do you have a book that was written by a person who was originally famous for doing something else. And for that, I picked Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, which I just bought and reread for book club last month. 
And of course, Trevor Noah is the host of The Daily Show. And he's also just known for being a comedian and being a really cool guy. And I really enjoy um, the clips I've seen of his show, although I'm not a regular watcher of The Daily Show. Number 12 is, do you have a book with a clock on the front? And for this one, I picked my arc of the Satipur Moonstone by uh, Sujana Ma Massey. And you can see it's right here, this little clock tower. And I'm really looking forward to this one. I haven't even read Widows of Malabar Hill yet. But I got this when I went to the Texas Library Conference real earlier in the year. Question number 13 is, do you have a book of poetry? And I don't really have like real poetry, but I have this one. I could pee on this and other poems by Cats by Francisco Mar Marcellani. And it's a really cute little book of poetry. I actually got this out of the library and read it. And then my brother got me it for Christmas last year as well. So it's just really cute little poems written by cats. Oh, you can't see it very well, but little cat poems. It's really cute. The next question is, do you have a book with an award stamp on it? And for this one, I picked Prairie Fires, The American Dreams of Laura Eagles Wilder by Caroline Frazier. And you can see right here, it says it won the Pulitzer Prize right there. And it also has this one that it says it was one of the 10 best, best books of the year by the New York Times Book Review in 2017. But I was mostly looking at that one. Number 15 is, do you have a book that was written by an author with the same initials as you? And I have this very, very beat up copy of Doctors by Eric Siegel, which is a book I loved and reread multiple times as a high schooler. I just really like this, like this book and you can tell because it's like all beat up and like in a very bad shape. I really, and there used to be a, um, a dress label sticker saying it was my mom's but then she gave it to me and then I read it like four or five times when I was a teenager. I probably need to get myself like a better copy of this book just for nostalgia purposes because yeah I really like this. Number 16 is do you have a book of short stories and for this one I picked Both Ways is the Only Way I Wanted by Maloy Maloy. And this is a book I had read in college. We had a college book club and this was the book for it. And I don't remember, I remember like one of the stories was about um, a guy taking a road trip and I remember liking that one. But the rest of them, I could not tell you like anything about them. But yeah, it was still, I remember really enjoying it when I read it. Number 17 is, do you have a book that's between 500 and 510 pages long? And for this one, I'm picking The Moonstone, and it's exactly 510 pages, so it just barely makes the cut. I thought about, it might be considered cheating that it's exactly 510, but whatever. I, I looked for several different books, but this was the only one that, like, really fit the prompt. So yeah, and I read this earlier in the year with Joe. so how fitting that I'm using it for a question on a prompt that she tagged me in. Number 18 is, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? And for this one, I picked Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwong, which I read earlier this year and watched the movie, and I really enjoyed both of them. Number 19 is, do you have a graphic novel? And I do not. I only read one graphic novel series, which is Giant Days, and I just get the newest issue from the library when they come out, so I don't. But I do have several books with pictures, the most, the prettiest one of which is this beautiful edition of Heidi. And you can't really see it, but it's so pretty. And there's some pictures. Let me find you a good picture in here. Oh, there's one. There's a picture of Heidi with her goats. And there's a picture of, I think it's the Clara's father and maybe the lawyer. I can't really remember, but yeah. So there, I have several books with pictures. And then finally, the last question is, do you have a book that was written by two or more authors? And I don't really have one, except collections of like short stories and stuff. Like I have a Christmas collection. But the one that immediately came to mind is actually the Bible, because it was written by like multiple people over thousands of years. So, you know what? It counts. But yeah, so that was the, do I have the book? 
do I have that book tag? And thank you to Joe for tagging me. And sorry it took me so long to finally do the tag. But yeah, I'm making good progress on all my tags. Um, I don't have anybody to tag. But if you feel like doing it, feel free to do it. And let me know that you did it. And I'll come watch it. I hope everybody's having a great day. And you're reading some great books. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!